my name's Tara Judah. I'm the cinema producer at Watershed Cinema, and I've been involved with Cinema Rediscovered since its inception. Uh, now it's in its third year, so that was two years ago in 2016. Cinema Rediscovered is a archive repertory classic film festival that's mostly interested in engaging with the history of cinema, bringing film print rarities and digital restorations back to the big screen. Uh, so celebration of all of cinema's past. And we're really interested in looking at how those films have dialogue today, how they have impact. There are lots of conversations that we're having today that have context and reference points um, that have been brought up in discussions previously. So it's about kind of finding new ways of looking at those experiences. I mean, I guess that's the, the rediscovered part of this festival is all about how we resituate things and how we revisit those ideas. The Film Critics Workshop is in its second year. We piloted it last year. Um, the first year it was a one day, really quite intense and jam packed seminar. Um, this year it's taking place over two days, so it'll be the, Friday, the Thursday and Friday of the festival. What basically the program hopes to do is to engage with the idea of what the state of film criticism is now in the UK, what our hopes are for the future, how we can speak to what we want and how we can enact what we want in a future of film criticism. There is a wider perception that there is one correct way in which to move through this industry if you want to be a critic. And I think for a long time that has been the idea that you must be aiming to be that one broadsheet critic when someone eventually moves on in this industry, which is not very often. But I think what we, we should be saying to people is that criticism is an important part of the ecology of the film industry because how we speak back to art and how we engage with its ideas is, is vital. We can't lose, lose touch with that. We need to keep that. It's quite common, I think, in mainland Europe and in some other countries for film critics to be programmers as well as critics or to work in, in kind of a, a looser way across writing and thinking about film, presenting and, and curating with audiences, discussion as part of film criticism, teaching as part of film criticism, that there is there are other ways of kind of doing it and that those things all do build up to the same picture. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to have the freedom to just swan about the Riviera in Cannes and then go to every single other film festival and get paid a, a decent wage for doing it. It does mean that there are challenges within that. But I think in the UK we think that you can't be more than one thing and so one of the things I'm really keen to kind of break down is the idea that you can. Um, being a critic is speaking back to art, it's engaging with ideas, it's grappling with those ideas and that's really, really important and we all need to be doing that. I think it's really crucial that we're critical of things in our environment. Um, but it doesn't mean that we have to do it instead of something else. We kind of allow a discussion to be two-sided and to say there is this or that and actually what we should be saying is there is this and that. Um, and so one, the advent of a new format or a new voice or a new platform does not necessarily negate the existence of the other. What we have to do, however, is rethink how can they live alongside each other? How can we bring the best of both of these things together? We don't have to say, well, we won't have broadsheets ever again, or we won't have, you know, long form written pieces because we've got podcasts and because we've got television and video essays and YouTube. Um, but what we could say is maybe there's a way in which we can have both of those things. And more interestingly, how are they in discussion with one another? And that's also what we do around formats at the festival. We say, okay, well, we're presenting films as best we can back on the big screen. Sometimes that's through a film print and sometimes that's digitally. It depends. Um, and it's about whether or not a digital restoration is the best way in which to present a film, or perhaps the 35 mil print that still exists is, you know, beautiful and says something about the film and that might be the best way to present the film. So it's also about kind of thinking through the fact that one thing, and I guess that's also the ethos of you know the past and the present, one thing doesn't mean goodbye to the other. These things exist side by side, they exist together, they're part of a conversation. Let's enable and open up and explore that conversation.